Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, this is an open tag from uh, North Star Knife Reviews. If you look in my description box, there is a link to his channel down below, but he had an open tag that uh, he uh, had asked me to make a response to, and I was just very happy that he did reach out to me to uh, make a review. And this is uh, for six knives for non-knife people. So he, uh, in his uh, tag, he said he did not want to include the uh, Swiss Army knives because that is, you know, basically like a knife you would hand a non-knife person and say, "Here you go. Here's a, here's a Swiss Army knife. These are these are easy to uh, to use, and almost everybody has them." So what I did is I kind of cheated a little bit. So you're gonna get a list of six knives that my wife picked out and six knives that I picked out. And it was funny. So I had her, I, I said, here, look at all, look through all my life, my knives. And I want you to pick out the ones that, you know, cause she is not a knife person. Uh, she just kind of, she'll use a knife, but like she doesn't carry a knife or have uh, any that are her own. Although I have sparked uh, that interest, she's thinking about getting a knife. But I said, you know, which of these would you choose to use or which ones would you not? So the first one she decided that she wanted to use or that she liked was this uh, mini toothpick. And so uh, she said this would be perfect for opening mail and stuff like that. And so I thought that that was a good choice. Uh, we'll put all of her choices up here. The uh, next one that she liked was this uh, Case Copperhead. She said she really liked the uh, color and she thought that this was a good knife for uh, breaking down boxes or opening packages, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, she also really likes the color on that one. Then she picked out this one because she said that this one is a favorite of hers also. Again, this is a uh, Rough Rider Copperhead, but she liked this one because she said she really likes the color and she really thought it was a good size to open boxes and stuff like that. The next one that she chose was another Rough Rider Copperhead, and this one is in their uh, denim micarta, but she said that this was perfect for, again, the same packaging, opening and mail and stuff like that. You see it's kind of on a, on a trend there. This is another one of her favorites. Again, she chose it for the uh, color. It's the uh, orange case mini trapper. And then the uh, last one that she chose because she thought it was pretty and it was a gift uh, to me. And that's this uh, case uh, Stockman. So pretty much all of her choices were predicated on the uh, color of the knife and you know what it was uh, so she didn't choose any any lockbacks or any kind of uh, liner locks or anything like that but for a non-knife person i think any of these would be you know fine these are your good basic everyday working knives when i chose my uh six she said you know when i when i told her you know kind of my reasons for you know, why I chose this or why I chose that. Then she was kind of like, wow, you know, that's, uh, you know, you should have told me about this or you should have told me about that, but I didn't want to tell her about anything. I wanted her to choose stuff as a non-knife person so that uh, we'd get kind of a representation of how, you know, a non-knife person would, would look at a selection of knives and what they would uh, come up with. And then some of the knives that I chose, she had some interesting comments about those too. So let's uh, go ahead and dive into that. The first one that I chose, I'm, I'm going to show a couple examples, uh, was this uh, little uh, Camillus. And, uh, you know, this, uh, again, perfect for opening mail and stuff. It's a nice, uh, small uh, knife. Here's a old timer that basically duplicates that. This is the 12 OT. Uh, perfect for small tasks, perfect for around the office. It's a smaller knife, uh, but uh, 
like I said, I have a couple that are, you know, are duplicates or, or whatever, but I figured it makes it more interesting for everyone to see uh, kind of more than less. Uh, the next one would be uh, these uh, small lockbacks or any small lockback. Uh, this, you know, Buck Workman is a good example or this uh, brass uh, small lockback from Rough Rider, which uh, I really like this knife. It's a it's a really nice one. And here we'll even bring in an, another one. This is just a, an older uh, Schrade. But any of these small uh, lockbacks, I think, are perfect for a novice user. You know, there's just one blade. It's, you know, got the lock. It's secure. It's not going to close on them. Uh, it should be pretty easy. They're lightweight. Uh, that's the other thing is that, you know, knives that are small and lightweight like any really any of these uh like i said they kind of duplicate each other but these are the kind of knives that they get uh used and put into pockets and all that kind of stuff but i'll take out the uh the duplicates and we'll just keep the uh the ones here that are the the main ones let me open up this guy again sorry but yeah, so we have that and a small lockback. I'll put these other small lockbacks away. They're just other examples of the uh, small lockback. One of the things that we did agree on uh, is the Open L. Again, a perfect knife for uh, someone, uh, you know, with the uh, the ring that locks the the Vibro lock or whatever it is. Uh, these. Uh, do come in smaller sizes. This is a number eight and you can get a stainless if you were going to give one to somebody that uh, just didn't want to take care of their knife at all. But these are super lightweight, uh, feel really good in the hand. Uh, nothing fancy, I think, described them as uh, gloriously non-tactical. Uh, and I think that that's definitely what they are. Uh, one of the things that you can say about it, uh, is uh, as far as it being non-tactical is we were watching an episode of the uh, good doctor and uh, the characters had gone on a uh, hiking trip and they needed a knife and the guy said i have a pocket knife in my uh, bag and it was an open l so i figure if hollywood finds that to be non-threatening uh, for non-knife people that should uh, that should work i know that he said uh, no uh, Swiss Army knives. So this is not a Swiss Army knife. Uh, this is a Leatherman Skeletool. And the reason that I was thinking of this for non-knife people is that it does have a knife, which, although it has a liner lock, I know he was saying that uh, liner locks, uh, you know, you, as far as you might have to show somebody how to use a liner lock. But I think if somebody doesn't have a knife, they probably are light on other tools also. And the Skeletool gives you enough tools, you know, for somebody just starting out. You know, so you have your screwdriver with the uh, bits. You have your, of course, uh, plier head with the uh, wire cutter. And this is a this is a good uh, multi-purpose type, uh, you know, plier. It's lightweight. You know, you have the bottle opener, and you can clip it onto something if you want to clip it. It has a spare bit that rides in here. You know, so it's not too much, but I think something that, you know, and she really liked it when I, when I showed her this, she's like, oh yeah, I really like this one a lot. And uh, that was, I think, something that you can definitely get a non-knife person to have a knife. Uh, what was interesting about it was that I also have this uh, Leatherman, uh, what is this, the uh, CS Style which is similar to that. And when I showed this to her, she said this actually intimidated her, even though it has the uh, scissors in the middle. Uh, she said that that seemed more dangerous to her than having a, uh, a plier head. And of course, this has a, uh, a small uh, knife blade on it as well. So, you know, definitely uh, these are, are good. These are not uh, quite uh, Swiss Army knives, but uh, they might fall kind of close to that category. Uh, I, I'm not sure. The uh, last one that I had 
uh, was this one, which is just a, a, a canoe. And uh, again, just because it's a, it's a simple design, it's, uh, you know, something super simple for a user. It's, uh, you know, pretty much lightweight. And with it having the uh, rounded over uh, bolsters and stuff, it's a, it's a nice lightweight, no snag uh, thing. And with this uh, G10 scale on here, uh, it's definitely gonna gonna last. And with the uh, 440A stainless uh, steel. So what do I have up here? What do I got? One, two, three, four, five. So I got five. Let me just grab another one uh, just out of the blue uh, to round it out. And I think this uh, Delica from Spyderco uh, makes a good choice because lightweight, like I said, lock back, one blade, simple, easy does it, uh, VG10 steel. You know, one of these is perfect or really one of the smaller ones. You know, the Dragonfly comes to mind. Uh, and, and the Dragonfly is, is a really great knife. In fact, I don't have one, but it's on my list. Uh, yeah, that's uh, one that I definitely want to get. And I think that those make fantastic knives. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call it. That's... Uh, Six from me and six from uh, Mrs. RJ. And hopefully you guys will agree or disagree with that. If you guys want to let me know in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like. Do these choices seem like good ones for non-knife users? Uh, do you uh, like uh, knives like this uh, for people that are not uh, knife savvy? people that uh, that you don't necessarily want to hand off one of your really nice knives to. Anyways, like I said, let me know. Uh, the original video is at North Star Knife Reviews, so thank you for including me in the tag. I know Knife Detector has done one of this tag, and we'll see if, uh, if some of the other people do uh, decide to take up this challenge. And it is an open tag, so if anybody wants to make a video on it, uh, feel free to go ahead and do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.